One of the biggest misconceptions people in the USA have is the idea of the American dream as a universally achievable goal. Many believe that hard work and determination are all that's needed to succeed, when in reality, systemic barriers such as socioeconomic inequality, racial discrimination, and lack of access to quality education and healthcare make this dream unattainable for a significant portion of the population. This oversimplified notion can lead to overlooking deeper structural problems that need addressing in order to create a more equitable society. The notion of the American dream the belief that anyone can achieve success and prosperity through hard work and determination remains a powerful and pervasive ideal in American culture. Despite the growing awareness of systemic inequalities that challenge this narrative, many individuals continue to hold steadfastly to the idea, often viewing it as a reflection of their personal aspirations. Understanding why this misconception is so deeply ingrained reveals the interplay of cultural narratives, historical context, political rhetoric, and social pressures. At the heart of the American dream lies a rich tapestry of cultural narratives that glorify individual success stories. Literature, movies, and media frequently depict characters who rise from humble beginnings to achieve greatness, reinforcing the belief that tenacity and hard work are the ultimate keys to success. These narratives, while inspiring, can be misleading, as they tend to oversimplify the complex realities many face. The portrayal of the American dream as an attainable goal creates an alluring vision that can overshadow the systemic barriers present in society. Racial and ethnic disparities add another layer of complexity to the meritocratic narrative. Systemic barriers disproportionately impact racial and ethnic minorities, hindering their ability to succeed on equal terms. Discriminatory practices in hiring, promotion, and compensation persist, resulting in pay gaps that disproportionately affect black and Hispanic individuals compared to their white counterparts even when controlling for education and experience. These disparities reflect not only individual biases but also structural inequalities that undermine the principles of a true meritocracy. Systemic barriers and biases within hiring processes further illustrate the limitations of meritocracy in the U.S. Research indicates that resumes with ethnic-sounding names are less likely to receive callbacks compared to those with traditionally white names, even when qualifications are identical. Such biases perpetuate inequality and diminish the chances for underrepresented individuals to succeed based solely on their merit. Inherited wealth is indeed one of the biggest factors contributing to economic inequality, though it's part of a broader set of advantages that shape one's opportunities in life. Wealth passed down through generations provides not only financial security but also access to better education, health care, housing, and social networks. This creates a significant head start for those born into wealthy families, making it easier for them to accumulate more wealth and maintain their status. Wealth inequality further complicates the notion of meritocracy in the U.S. The distribution of wealth has become increasingly skewed, with a small percentage of the population holding a disproportionate share of resources. According to a report from the Federal Reserve, the top 1% of households possess approximately 31% of total wealth, while the bottom half holds just 2%. This concentration of wealth creates significant barriers to upward mobility. Individuals from lower income backgrounds often lack the financial resources necessary for education, investment, or entrepreneurship, limiting their opportunities for success based on merit alone. Historically, the idea of the American dream gained prominence during periods of economic growth, particularly in the post-World War II era. This was a time when many Americans experienced upward mobility, which fostered a collective sense of optimism and possibility. The economic expansion of that era cemented the belief that anyone, regardless of their background, could achieve prosperity through effort and ambition. 
this historical context can lead to a nostalgic view of the American dream, making it difficult for individuals to accept that the same opportunities may no longer be available in today's socio-economic landscape. Political rhetoric also plays a significant role in perpetuating the myth of the American dream. Politicians and leaders often invoke this ideal to inspire hope and galvanize citizens around a shared vision. While the intention may be to motivate and unite, this rhetoric can mask the deeper systemic barriers that prevent many from realizing their dreams. By focusing on individual agency, the discourse can overlook the structural inequalities rooted in wealth, race, and access to education and resources. Cognitive dissonance is another factor that contributes to the persistence of the American dream. When individuals face hardships or witness inequality, they may cling to the idea of the American dream as a means of reconciling these challenging realities. Accepting that the dream is not attainable for everyone can be uncomfortable, leading many to rationalize their struggles or blame themselves for perceived failures. This cognitive dissonance reinforces the belief in meritocracy, even in the face of overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Social pressure also plays a critical role in shaping perceptions of the American dream. In a society that often measures success by material wealth and professional achievements, individuals may feel compelled to pursue the dream relentlessly. This societal expectation can lead to the internalization of the belief that hard work will inevitably yield success, regardless of the systemic obstacles in place. As a result, the American dream becomes not only a personal aspiration but a societal mandate. The information silos created by a polarized media landscape can further entrench misconceptions about the American dream. People tend to consume content that aligns with their existing beliefs, which can limit exposure to diverse perspectives and critical discussions about inequality. This echo chamber effect reinforces the ideal of the American dream, making it challenging for individuals to recognize the systemic issues that hinder access to success for many. The American dream remains an enduring and compelling ideal, yet it is crucial to acknowledge the complexities and realities that challenge its atom inability. Cultural narratives, historical context, political rhetoric, cognitive dissonance, social pressure, and information silos all contribute to the entrenchment of misconceptions surrounding this ideal. Recognizing these factors is the first step toward a more nuanced understanding of success in America one that considers not only individual effort but also the systemic barriers that many continue to face. Another common misconception in the USA is the belief that the country has the best health care system in the world. While the US boasts advanced medical technology and world-class specialists, many overlook its poor rankings in affordability, access, and health outcomes compared to other developed countries. High costs, coupled with the lack of universal health care, leave millions uninsured or underinsured, causing many to delay or forego necessary treatments. This creates a stark divide between those who can afford care and those who cannot, contradicting the idea of a best health care system. This belief in superior health care persists despite widespread struggles with affordability and access. A major factor contributing to this misconception is the availability of cutting-edge technology and advanced treatments in the U.S. High-profile success stories of patients receiving exceptional care further reinforce the notion of an effective health care system. However, this perspective often overlooks the harsh reality faced by many who struggle to access or afford such advancements. Cultural beliefs play a significant role in shaping these perceptions. The American ideals of individualism and self-reliance encourage viewing health care as a personal responsibility. Many are raised to believe that success in accessing quality care is tied to hard work, obscuring the systemic barriers within the health care system. Political rhetoric also fuels this misconception. Politicians often promote the U.S. health care system as one of the best globally, 
highlighting innovations and elite care while downplaying significant issues like high costs and disparities in access. Confusion surrounding health insurance further complicates perceptions. Many people lack a full understanding of their insurance plans, leading to misplaced confidence in their coverage. This confusion often hides the real challenges of affordability and accessibility. Individual experiences with healthcare vary widely. Some benefit from good insurance or higher incomes, which can create a skewed perception of the system. These success stories often drown out the experiences of many who face significant barriers to care. When compared to developing nations, the US healthcare system may appear superior, but such comparisons fail to account for how the US measures up against other developed nations, which typically offer better access and outcomes at lower costs. Marketing efforts by the healthcare industry also contribute to the illusion of excellence. Hospitals and pharmaceutical companies invest heavily in advertising, shaping public perception and reinforcing the belief in a superior system without addressing its broader challenges. In reality, the US healthcare system is shaped by a complex mix of cultural narratives, selective experiences, political messaging, and marketing. While some may have positive encounters, the realities of high costs, accessibility issues, and variable quality reveal a more nuanced and often troubling picture. Another widespread misconception in the USA is that the country is entirely self-sufficient in its economic success, with little reliance on the rest of the world. While the US is a global economic powerhouse, its economy is deeply intertwined with international trade, supply chains, and labor markets. From the import of goods to the reliance on foreign manufacturing and raw materials, many of the products Americans use daily are produced or assembled abroad. Global economic shifts, like trade policies or supply chain disruptions, can have significant impacts on the US economy, highlighting how interconnected it truly is. While most Americans may not genuinely believe that the United States is entirely self-sufficient, a significant number still hold misconceptions about the extent of its economic independence. Understanding the roots of these beliefs reveals a complex interplay of national pride, historical context, selective awareness, media narratives, and political rhetoric. At the core of the belief in American self-sufficiency is a sense of national pride. Many Americans take great pride in the country's economic strength, achievements, and global leadership in various sectors. This pride fosters a narrative that emphasizes the nation's ability to produce most of what it needs, creating a perception of economic independence that can sometimes obscure the realities of interdependence in a globalized economy. Historical context also plays a crucial role in shaping perceptions of self-sufficiency. The US has long been recognized as a global leader in innovation, agriculture, and manufacturing. This legacy contributes to the belief that the country can meet its own needs without relying heavily on imports. However, as the global economy has evolved, the dynamics of trade and production have shifted, challenging the notion of complete self-reliance. Selective awareness further complicates the understanding of economic interdependence. Many individuals may not fully grasp the complexities of global supply chains and the interconnectedness of economies. The average consumer's experience often revolves around purchasing products that are either made domestically or imported, without considering the origins of raw materials or the intricate web of international trade that supports their availability. This lack of awareness can lead to a simplified view of the country's self-sufficiency. Media narratives also contribute to misconceptions about the US economy. Coverage frequently emphasizes American achievements in various industries, highlighting domestic innovation and success stories while downplaying the significant reliance on imports and foreign labor. This selective storytelling can create a skewed perception of the economy's actual interdependence with the rest of the world, 
leading some to believe that the US can operate independently. Additionally, the use of specific terminology, such as energy independence, can reinforce the notion of self-sufficiency in certain areas. While the US has made notable strides toward energy independence through domestic production, this does not capture the larger context of trade and global markets. The focus on energy may create a misleading impression of overall economic self-sufficiency. Political rhetoric also plays a significant role in shaping beliefs about American self-reliance. Some political discourse emphasizes the idea of nationalism and protectionism, framing policies aimed at boosting domestic industries as a means of achieving economic independence. This rhetoric can resonate with individuals who prioritize self-reliance and may further entrench the belief in the nation's ability to stand alone economically. While most Americans may not believe that the U.S. is entirely self-sufficient, various factors contribute to misconceptions about the degree of its economic independence. National pride, historical context, selective awareness, media narratives, and political rhetoric all intertwine to create a complex understanding of the American economy. Recognizing the intricacies of international trade and supply chains is essential for fostering a more accurate perception of the country's economic landscape in an increasingly interconnected world. Another major misconception in the USA is the belief that climate change is a distant or exaggerated problem. While some still downplay its severity, climate change is already having a tangible impact, from increasingly frequent and severe natural disasters to rising sea levels and shifting weather patterns. Many Americans may assume its effects will not reach them in their lifetime or that it's primarily an issue for other parts of the world. In reality, the U.S. is already experiencing its consequences, with wildfires, hurricanes, and droughts becoming more intense and widespread, affecting communities across the country. As debates about climate change continue to unfold, many individuals remain skeptical about its existence or the severity of its impacts. However, a robust body of evidence exists that underscores the reality and urgency of climate change, challenging misconceptions, and illuminating the facts. One of the most striking pieces of evidence lies in the rising global temperatures. Scientific data demonstrates a significant increase in global average temperatures over the past century. According to NASA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, the last decade has been the hottest on record. This alarming trend closely correlates with the rising concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, primarily due to human activities such as burning fossil fuels and deforestation. The reality of warming is not just a theoretical concern, it is a measurable phenomenon that impacts the environment in tangible ways. The melting of ice caps and glaciers serves as another critical indicator of climate change. Satellite observations reveal a dramatic decline in Arctic sea ice extent approximately 40% since the late 1970s. Glaciers in regions like Greenland and Antarctica are also melting at unprecedented rates, contributing significantly to rising sea levels. This transformation is not merely a distant concern, it poses immediate risks to coastal communities and ecosystems worldwide. Rising sea levels further highlight the profound effects of climate change. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, sea levels have risen about 8 inches 20 centimeters, since 1900, with projections indicating continued increases that threaten coastal infrastructure, ecosystems, and populations. The implications of this rise are far-reaching, impacting millions of people and forcing communities to adapt or relocate. Moreover, the increasing frequency and intensity of extreme weather events serve as a sobering reminder of climate change's impact. The connection between climate change and natural disasters is becoming increasingly clear, as heat waves, hurricanes, floods, 
and wildfires are occurring more often and with greater severity. Research conducted by organizations such as the IPCC and NOAA highlights how climate change exacerbates these events, resulting in more significant consequences for communities, economies, and ecosystems. Ocean acidification presents another critical dimension of climate change that often goes unnoticed. As carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere rise, oceans absorb much of this gas, leading to increased acidity. This change poses a severe threat to marine life, particularly for organisms such as shellfish and coral reefs, which struggle to survive in more acidic waters. The implications for marine ecosystems and the fishing industries that rely on them are dire and underscore the interconnectedness of climate change with broader environmental issues. The shifts in ecosystems and wildlife behavior provide further evidence of climate change's impact. As temperatures rise, many species are forced to migrate to higher elevations or latitudes in search of suitable habitats. Additionally, the timing of natural events, such as blooming and breeding seasons, is changing, disrupting established ecological patterns. Studies published by organizations like the World Wildlife Fund reveal how these shifts threaten biodiversity and the balance of ecosystems. At the heart of the climate change discussion lies a strong scientific consensus. The overwhelming majority of climate scientists agree that climate change is real and primarily driven by human activity. Esteemed organizations, including the IPCC, the American Association for the Advancement of Science AAAS, and NASA, endorse this consensus through extensive research and peer-reviewed studies. This unity among experts lends significant credibility to the reality of climate change, reinforcing the need for urgent action. Lastly, historical climate data offers crucial context for understanding current changes. Climate scientists utilize records from ice cores, tree rings, and sediment layers to reconstruct past climate conditions. These historical records reveal natural climate variability over millions of years but also highlight an unprecedented rate of change in recent times, closely aligned with industrialization and increased greenhouse gas emissions. For those who harbor doubts about climate change, the evidence is compelling and multifaceted. From rising temperatures and melting ice to the impacts on ecosystems and extreme weather events, the reality of climate change is supported by a wealth of scientific data. Addressing these misconceptions is essential for fostering awareness and motivating collective action. As the evidence continues to mount, it becomes increasingly crucial for society to confront the realities of climate change and work towards sustainable solutions for the future.